do this. You pick out a question while I take this one from Pecking Duck, who asks, because it, it's the longest one here, so I thought I would just take it. I wonder what your thoughts on overworld events. I'm talking about things like Nehru's Pearl, escorting Princess Rails, or Prince Rails, fighting Prince bosses Prince. like Demise in Skyward Sword or Goma in Spirit Tracks, and what is more or less the overworld, etc. Breath of the Wild got a lot of its substance from this sort of thing, but in the game it was more of a mix of monsters and a treasure chest thrown in. No cutscene or story events really. Do you think the next Zelda should have a large overworld with many of these sorts of events, or would you rather have a very linear dungeon to dungeon approach with fleshed out dungeons? Well, <clears throat> I think they could do both. They could have their dungeon. Um, I don't want a linear dungeon. Like, I want a dungeon that's, like, actually complicated, not... Mm -hmm. When I think of linear, I think of uh, the Twilight Palace, to where it's like, go to the left, go to the right, go through the middle. Mm -hmm. Like, that, there is no, was, yeah. like, trying to figure it out. But the uh, overworld events, like, Majora's Mask had the aliens try to take the cows. Um mm -hmm. Twilight Princess, you had to escort the milk to the castle. And there's also the whole the wagon when you're leaving Castletown with Prince Raylus and uh, Ilya is mm -hmm. in there, and then you escort it. It goes around the long way to Kakariko Village. Yeah, so Twilight Princess had a few of those, and it still had more mm -hmm. dungeons than any other Zelda game, and some of the best yeah. dungeons as well. So you can have both. You can't. You don't just pick one or the other. Yeah. You can uh, have your cake and eat your dungeon too, so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, what are your guys, uh, Kayla? What's your thoughts on overworld events? Since Daniel and I kind of, well, I don't think Daniel did, but I'm in favor of them. So, what about you, Kayla? <laughs> Daniel, stop. <Yeah. laughs> Uh, Over overworld events and Zelda games. How do you feel about yeah. them? Yeah, I think I think that'd actually be a very interesting idea because I mean, there's so much that goes on, but at the same time, like having an actual like event that you go to and that you plan on going to, like I think I could do that. But at the same time, I feel like there's way too much going on in game. Do you have any particular events that you like the most? Like uh, earlier, I mentioned rescuing the cows from Majora's Mask, and then there are the two escort missions in Twilight Princess. Oh, no escort missions. No escort missions no. ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Zero out of ten. <laughs> but, like, in Twilight Princess, there's the whole thing where you have to rescue, what's his name, Colin? Yeah. Um, and, you know, then there's the jousting thing on the bridge, and the but before that, there's this whole big horseback battle that probably, like, that was what everyone was dreaming about when they first saw the trailers. Like, yeah. that was the moment. I felt like all of that was really cool, but like, mm -hmm. I don't know, I just can't do escort missions. Something about them it just hurt oh. my soul. <laughs> I think it depends, though. Like, in Wind Waker, mm. there's kind of escort missions, but you can also, like, switch the to dungeons? that character. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. the dungeons, like, you have a companion character. You pretty much, like, pretty much the dungeons, you have to escort them to the end. Of the dungeon, yeah. Mostly, he but. he mentions Goma in Spirit Tracks. Is that when yeah. like you're in the cave and it's chasing after you? Yeah, that's a that that part gets your blood pumping. <laughs> like that's the like, god. Ah! Yeah, <laughs> um, and then there's like the giant octorock or octopuses in, in Wind Waker. Wind Waker. Yeah. the huge octorocks. The uh, the sand ship boss in. Skyward Sword, where, like, after you complete the dungeon, before you make your way to the boss fight, like, you have to, like, traverse through the sand ship while it's being torn apart by its tentacles. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought that was really cool. Um, yep. it, it's not an overworld thing, but it was still really cool. Um, the yeah, I just kind of wish the sand ship stayed broken. I feel like yeah. the, you, the, the whole thing gets torn to pieces, and then you finish the boss, and then it's like, we fixed it. <laughs> you know, magic. They should have just let it. They should have just left. I don't it even be. know how you fix something like that. How is that yeah. possible? You have to rebuild the entire it's thing. It's a 
Yeah, it's a whole ship. <laughs> like, it just doesn't make sense. It's fine. You just you glue this part back on. <laughs> All right. Uh, were you able to find a question, Kayla? I did find a question. I was looking very hard. All right. Uh, we'll go to Daniel after after Kayla's question. We'll go to Daniel. Okay. Awesome. So, you guys probably get lots of Smash questions. I don't because I don't do podcasts. So, uh, what do we got? Mm-hmm. Tevi Bear asks, who do you guys want to see as a brand new character in Super Smash Bros? Ooh, Goku. I... But Goku? You know, Goku? Yeah, but... Why Goku? I, 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 played, Dragon Ball. <laughs> I played, um... Super Smash Bros. Brawl, there was a huge modding community to where, like, any character you could think of, you could essentially download it, put it on an SD card, and put the SD card in the Wii so you could play as that character. Um... And they, there was one for Goku, but he was like really overpowered because his Kamehameha, which was his uh, one of his attacks, was essentially the huge cannon that Samus has. Okay. So oh. it's like so it's like a final smash. Yeah, it was essentially like an overpowered Goku, but it was still really cool to have him on there. And then, but realistically, like I don't know. Um, some obscure character from the Zelda series, or... Uh, Tingle. I like that you stop <laughs> and you're like, realistically, because we can't have Goku in a Smash game. Come on. <laughs> well, like, they would have to be... Well, we never thought we'd get Cloud, though. I True. Mean. Ah, mm-hmm. But at least Cloud is a video game character. I mean, Goku's in... Vi there are Dragon Ball video games, but... That wasn't, like, what, what he originated from. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. so is that your answer? Is that your final answer, Jesse? Um, like, everyone wants, like, Banjo-Kazooie, but at this point I think it would be more likely to get Ukulele. But then it's like, Ukulele doesn't have the nostalgia as Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, I feel like Banjo would be a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. When we, there was, um, the, like, Smash polls, that they, they, like, where you could submit a vote before the, uh, before Smash 4 came out. You could vote on who... No, no, it was after it came out, but before the DLC characters had all come out. You kind of vote on who you thought you would like to see, and then it was Bayonetta that won. Mm -hmm. Which is, which really caught me off guard, because no one on the internet was talking about Bayonetta. Well, they, <laughs> they said out of the characters that they could get, Bayonetta was the highest ranked. Yeah. So that... Um, which makes sense. Yeah, but like it just really caught me off guard. I was like, really? Bayonetta? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I was at that time. I was I was really pushing the Banjo Kazooie train personally. Like I am all about Banjo Kazooie. Uh, so to see them in a he Smash could just, game would have been really cool. He could but, just put a character in his bag and throw it over the side. Yeah, there's your grab. You throw yeah, it perfect. In the bag. Um, but since that didn't come to fruition, my my actual pick, and I think it'd be more likely than getting Banjo Kazooie. Would be Shovel Knight. I think why not? I love Shovel yeah. Knight. Uh, uh, Shovel Knight is totally doable. So in the yeah. chat, uh, Spirit Priestess says Isaac from Golden Sun. Uh, Ashley, uh, the Patreon supporter, says Ravali. Of course she does. No, of course uh, Ravali. You Gibbs. know what, Ashley? I'm I'm in on that with you. <laughs> now, if they picked a champion <laughs> from Breath of the Wild, the Rook has to would be the best Smash fighter out of the four of them. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, don't believe me. <laughs> Holly says Agatha. She can smack people with her umbrella and make her bugs attack you. Um, That's your pick? <laughs> I expected better, Holly. <laughs> someone says Amistaru? Amistara from Akami? Mm -hmm. so that looks like all that we've gotten so far. There's a lot for ukulele. A dog, Bill Brush. I like the way you think. All right. Um, but yeah, uh, you you were talking about Darnia or Darunia, the Goron. I, I've always yeah, Daruk. I've always wanted um, if they treated Young Link similar mm -hmm. to uh, the Pokemon Trainer, to where like the Pokemon Trainer, you can throw out the Pokeballs and you can get like Charizard or whoever else in. Brawl, I believe. Uh, they separated the characters yeah. on the Wii U version. 
But if they made Young Link similar to that, to where you didn't necessarily play as Young Link, but you would put on the different masks, uh, yeah. and that would be akin to the different Pokemon. So like, you could put on a Deku mask, the Goron mask, the Zora mask, and then your final smash would be him putting on the Fierce Deity mask, and then like doing whatever. Uh, so like, I, I was a big fan of that. That would be like my dream thing that Nintendo could actually do, since they own the characters. Uh, but yeah. yeah. So going really back cool. to it, Kayla, who is your pick? See, that's really hard because I really wanted Villager and we got Villager. And oh, now yeah. I I don't know where to go from yeah, there. You have nothing to look forward to. Yeah. The, like you, the motorcycle from Excite Bike. Well, we got we, we got the, <laughs> <laughs> We already have one motorcycle. Thanks to Wario, we don't need any more. <laughs> True. But I mean, if, if Little Mac can make it from an assist trophy to a yeah. playable character, maybe the motorcycle <laughs> can make yeah. the leap from... <laughs> yeah. Um, oh. Alright. Daniel, final answer. Yes. My final answer. I'm gonna say Shovel Knight. I'd love to see Shovel Knight. Pretty much all his moves in the game could translate over into Smash. Um, and like all the relics could be as specials and stuff like that. So, all right, uh, <laughs> take us to our next question, Daniel. Yes, this one is from Jacoby. He asks, "What is your favorite Zelda mid boss fight of all time?" So not so not a not like a dungeon boss. Yeah, uh, Jacoby is J Link from the Discord for people that don't. Know. J Link, my friend. Yes. Good question. Favorite mini boss? I feel like a lot of people would say Dark Link. Dark Link's a good one. Dark Link's, but like a little overplayed now, I guess. Well, at least not actually in the games, but like as far as the fandom, this can yeah. like how they obsess over things. I like uh, I the Dark Nut battle from Ganon's Castle and Twilight yeah. Princess. Mm -hmm. I the, thought those ones were fun. They're a little bit repetitive because, like, you see them a lot, but then they kind of changed them up, which I thought was kind of cool. He he yeah. was the one enemy that I would have loved in Breath of the Wild. Like, similar to the uh, oh, I can't believe I forgot their names. The horse those people. Outposts? No, the Lynels. The horse, oh, the Lynels. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so They're like really hard. Uh, yeah, like it, it could be like the the instead of putting the Lynels in the castle. Like, there's some of the rooms that you can go into and the door's shut, and then there's a Lionel yeah. that pops up. Instead of having that, if you would get into the room, and there would be, like, a statue that would just come to life, and it, it's a dark nut. Because in the same way, um, like, when you're far, far, when you're far away from the Lionels, they'll shoot the arrows and stuff at you, but as you get closer, they get more aggressive. So the dark nuts could be just like that, to where whenever you're far away maybe they just like stand there menacingly but if you come near them then they'll attack but not only that um if you try to run away then the more damage you've done to them the faster they get because as you damage them it always knocks off their armor and then when their armor gets all the way knocked off their attacks aren't as strong but they attack a lot faster so mm -hmm. if they did something similar to that which they did in Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess, but if they had that in Breath of the Wild, I think it would have uh, solved one of the issues that they had with like the variety of enemies. Mm -hmm. So yeah. instead of, uh, and then it would make sense because, like, those are like really armored knights, and a knight would belong in the castle. So, yeah, that's my thought on that. Um, I don't know if it would be my favorite, but I, I really liked it. And then there's the um, Majora's Mask had the boss to where like there was the thing in the bubble. I forget. In the bub I'll I'll in look the I'll look it up while you guys are giving yours. And then are you about, like the where it's on the ceiling, like the wart. I think it's called. I think so. And it's like a giant eyeball, and it's got a bunch of bubbles around it. Yeah. And then you get the ice arrows, I think. because yeah, he's also a boss in A Link to the Past. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I think it's called Wart. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a really lame name. Alright, and then... Um, mm -hmm. Trying to think of the last one. I don't know. Okay, so... 
Yeah, I can't think of it. You guys go. No, it would oh, be the, the Grim, the Grim <laughs> Reaper oh, dude Mike from Majora's Reaper. Mask. Oh, that's a good one, actually. Yeah. And he turns into a bunch of bats. What's his name? I don't remember. <laughs> and then Twilight Princess like had a... Stone Tower Temple, right? Yeah, Twilight Princess yeah. had a variation of him. The, to like, where... Death Blade guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, there was the two different variations, and I like that as well. But those are my favorite mini-bosses. Uh, Kayla, you're up. And let us know in the chat oh, what your favorite Gomez. bosses are. Comment below, and we'll read out some of the stuff. Gomez is who you're thinking of. This guy. Oh, look at that. You yeah. did the Google for you. Oh, I did the nice Google. Guy. See, I, I have my laptop here. I was going to Google it, so thank you for saving me the trouble. <laughs> Um, I feel like Skyward Sword had a lot of really strong, like, uh, mid-bosses. I really like those, like, um... Would you I be don't... mad if I told you I don't remember any of the mini-bosses from Skyward Sword? <laughs> <laughs> well, first off, we were Zelda just channel. talking about the skeleton dude. Come on. Oh, that yeah. guy, he was a good, he was a good mid-boss. Oh, the one with the too many arms? Yeah, the one with the too many arms. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I enjoyed him. I've seen all of my friends be really infuriated over fighting him. But the one that always stands out to me is I remember playing Ocarina of Time for the first time when I was younger. Uh, the mid boss in the Water Temple when you're a kid freaked me right out. I absolutely hated Ooh, that boss. The giant Octorok? Yeah, I don't know why. Something about that thing just terrified me and I just haven't gotten over it. Oh, so Skervo was interesting. Sir oh, yeah, yeah. He Servo. Was good. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's. In Skykeep, there's another variation called Dead Fuse, Dread Fuse. Yeah. The so, pirates. yeah, that's interesting. Robot pirates. Uh, in Skyward Sword, there's, I don't know if it counts as a mid boss, but right before you fight Girahim for the last time, mm -hmm. there's the, like, the horde of Bokoblins. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's just fun, just because you're, that, like, so overpowered at that point that you're just that one shot. That was foreshadowing Hyrule. Hyrule Warriors. That was foreshadowing it Hyrule was, Warriors. It was. It was getting <laughs> it really ready, was. getting you ready for those groups. Yeah, um, you, you could do, like, a spin attack, and it would just, like, just decimate. decimate them. Yeah. Jinx. And that was fun. Uh... Trying to think of some other good mid bosses. I, I feel like we didn't let Kayla say anything. Oh no, that's that's all I had. Uh. No, you have more. <laughs> just talk over me. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I'll just, it's fine. Nobody listened to Daniel. Everyone listened to me. All right. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, Ashley in, in the chat. Uh, Ashley has Dark Hammer. Gibbs has Dark that giant Octorok in Ocarina of Time. I hate the spinning platform. The yes. Game Informer bot says Iron Knuckle, Ocarina of Time, which is what I was yes. saying earlier. Uh, That's a really good one, though. Uh, oh, you know what? Who I love? The Helmorok King. In I Wind hope. Waker. Yeah. Yes, that's the best mid boss, hands down, because you just you hate him, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you, well, you hate him. Is wait, is he a mid boss though, or is he actually like technically the boss boss? I guess Phantom Ganon would be the mid boss. And what? And the uh, Forsaken Fortress in Wind Waker for your second visit. So the Helmorok King. Jesse looks so lost. <laughs> Are you okay? There was a. It's the a, big bird. There was guy. A, a bad oh, comment sorry. on the chat, and I was trying to make sure it was deleted. Oh no. <gasps> yeah. It was about me. <laughs> um. Either way, like it, I don't. I think I guess Helmar King. You got the heart piece from, or the heart container. So I guess he's actually the boss, dungeon boss. But he's a great one. I'm gonna go with Phantom Ganon then, from Forsaken Fortress. Especially because if you played like Ocarina of Time as a kid, then you kind of know what to expect. But he's not like the dungeon boss. He's he's. There's know, the. Just, like, like, on his sword, it has the names of uh, oh, the sword can, makers from the Majora's Mask. Yes. Okay, who's Dark Hammer? Oh, Dark Hammer from Twilight Princess. That's a, someone in the chat had said Dark Hammer, and I was like, who dat? But that, he's just great because you get the ball and chain. <laughs> and I just love that item. Uh, that's probably one of the better items in Twilight Princess. Jesse's gone.